Hi everyone. My name is Liz. Welcome to my channel. I just finished teaching a math class on OutSchool and I used my phone as my document camera and I thought it might be helpful to make a quick video and show you how to do that. Whether you are teaching remotely these days, it is 2020, tutoring from home or working on a platform like OutSchool, having that document camera can be really helpful. So you're in a Zoom meeting, which is how I'm making this video, and you take your iPhone, Android, iPad, and you open up the Zoom app. So you do need the Zoom app on the device in order to use it as a document camera. Once you open up the app, you are going to join the meeting. So when you click on join, it's going to ask you for a meeting ID. So in order to get the meeting ID, you want to click on participants. And on the bottom left hand corner, you can click on invite. And up in the top left corner, you're going to see a nine digit number. And that's the meeting ID. So you're going to put the meeting ID in and click it. And there are two other options before you click on join. It says don't connect to audio, which I want to make green because if you have the audio on your computer, you don't want it on your iPhone or iPad at the same time. I'm also going to click on turn off my video and then I'm going to click join. If it asks you for a password, the password is in the bottom right hand corner. It may not. So you can see where my phone is now a part of our meeting. Now when I go on my phone on the bottom, I have to tap my screen and in the middle, I'm going to be given the option to share content. When I tap share content, it's telling me that only the host can share. So I'm going to click OK and then I'm going to go down to the bottom since I am the host and there is security button. I'm going to click on security and I'm going to put a check mark next to share screen. That enables anyone in the meeting to share their screen. Now I'm going to go back to my phone and click share content and it's now going to give me all these different options of where to share from. I'm going to click on the top one that says screen. Then you're going to see where it says screen broadcast zoom start broadcast. So I'm going to start the broadcast. In a few seconds, you're going to see my phone in the meeting. And there it is. I'm going to swipe that screen off, and then I'm going to open my camera. And now you can see where my phone is my document camera. Over here to the right of my laptop on my desk is what I purchased off of Amazon. And this is where I will put my phone so that my whiteboard becomes part of my lesson. So I will attach a link to, if you're interested in this, um, so you can purchase it on Amazon if you need it. Once I attach my phone, you can see, I'm not going to do it now, I'm just going to pretend that I'm doing it so that you can see where the whiteboard, the eraser and the expo marker are all set for my lesson. It's really helpful, especially if you are teaching or tutoring math lessons. All right, I really hope this helps and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Take care.